for people who are not familiar with CDK, uh, what are what do you mean by L1, L2, L3 constructs? Yes. Um, okay. So in the CDK, there are generally three sort of different abstractions or um, categories of constructs, and we call them level one, level two, and L level three, or L1, L2, L3 constructs. So a level con one construct is a generated code from the CloudFormation resource itself. So the CDK team regularly takes the CloudFormation spec runs a tool on it, and that generates out all of the L1 constructs that exist within the CDK and ship with it. And they correspond one-to-one -one with the CloudFormation resource. So if you are dealing with, say, an RDS uh, resource in CloudFormation, that maps to a CFN instance and, and uh, the RDS namespace there. No magic, nothing special. It's just here's here's a TypeScript interface for dealing with a CloudFormation resource. Uh, not everything, uh, well, everything in CloudFormation has an L1 construct. Then you have level two, which builds on top of an L1 construct. And an L2 construct takes that L1 thing, whatever it is, and adds in a lot of nice little wrappers and little helper functions and other things around it. So for example, if I have an EC2 instance and I have the L2 construct for that EC2 instance, it's auto automatically going to take care of things like creating an IAM role to stand as the instance profile. And it's going to give me some helper functions on that object that I can use for setting user data and other things that just make it significantly easier to work with when trying to create these things. And really, it's the L2s that give the CDK most of its value within the community because it just makes creating these resource definitions and other things significantly easier. And then the L3s are usually business-specific uh, creations or encapsulations of common architectural patterns. So the common example I use is the idea of an API gateway, a Lambda function, and DynamoDB. Me as an organization, I may consider this a microservice, and I may create a microservice L3 construct that has that API gateway, Lambda, and DynamoDB in a very simple, easy to use uh, construct that I can distribute out to dozens of teams. And I can say, well, if you need a very simple microservice for a RESTful endpoint, here's the thing to use. And the developers and the people who are using it have a very, very simple, easy to use re, uh, pattern to work with.